Alright guys, here's a uh, painting the bass boat part two. So I'm a little shaky with the camera here on my phone. I kind of just got done spraying this thing. I just couldn't wait to show you guys. So, again, sanded it all down. Um, and uh, turned out good. 80 grit. Cleaned it all up. That's one side undone. This side's done. Um, two cans of bed coat truck rust-oleum on this side here. I am right here going to continue it all the way down. And then on both sides will just be green. That's kind of why there's some overspray right there. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. I mean, I'm not a professional painter, but I got that line pretty freaking dead on. So I'm good with that. Lines look pretty dang good. I mean, I have a little overspray, um, but nothing to worry about. I mean, it's a, it's going to get banged up. It's a aluminum boat, you know? It's just for bass fishing and whatnot. But again, this is the uh, Rust-Oleum Camouflage Paint. That's the back. I haven't done anything on it. And there's kind of the top. You know, it'll look better once I get everything cleaned up. I used a tarp laying over there to uh, cover this truck bag coat. And I forgot about the holes in the tarp. So I got a little overspray on here. But other than that, I mean, this look turned out really clean for the most part. And, I can live with it, so that's that's what matters at the end of the day, you know, no one's really going to see it. That's a pretty clean line. Um, the screen laid down super easy, super nice. It's still kind of wet, kind of like, looks like I missed a spot, but I didn't. It's just freaking still wet. Just couldn't wait to show you guys because this turned out awesome. Uh, kind of like, I'm digging the color. I was going to go blue and black, but I'm glad I didn't. Anyway, it took about a can and a half of this camouflage um and a can a full can of self-edging primer so i'm looking at i need to buy about two more cans of this camouflage to do my back part maybe two or three just to give it you know three coats or whatnot but that's two coats so I, i'm thinking i'm gonna be like almost a hundred bucks guys just in uh, Rust-Oleum paint. But uh, huge shout out to Rust-Oleum. Looks pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know. I mean, getting a light reflection of the green there. Kind of cool, you know. But uh, this Rust-Oleum fills around these rivets just freaking super well. You can really see how it just covers them and creates a nice coat there on top of these rivets. Um, end result, just super happy. Let's see if I can give you guys kind of a bigger picture. Right here from the rear to the front. Just overall, looks cool. That's that side done. Let's go over here. This is bare aluminum side. So, I went from looking like that, bare aluminum. So I ran into a cobweb there. To, uh, looking like this. Uh, it's a matter of, you know, a hundred bucks. And, uh, 14 hours of sanding, roughly 14 hours of sanding, 10, 14 hours of sanding and whatnot. But anyway, that's the difference right there. That's unfinished and that's finished. Um, it should last me probably about two years, but uh, I can live with it. So that's kind of what I'm happy about. You know, again, some of the paint's still a little wet. I'm just kind of excited to show you guys. I did do that top cap going all the way down. So, and inside there got all sanded and just got all the tape off because it's whatnot but yeah again that'll be black all the way down once i get the other side done i'll tape it and finish it and plastic it you know and make it look real pretty i didn't want green paint there camo paint because that's going to be smashing into you know the trailer when it gets back on the trailer you got to go find me one and buy me one but it's a 14 foot sears again probably pre-70s pre-74 um but yeah turns out awesome i'm super stoked you know even that truck bed coating that bottom coating's kind of got a little shine to it which i'm kind of surprised i'm sure it'll fade i mean all truck bed liners kind of fade in the future but as of right now i'm definitely digging it um it's a cool color scheme you know it looks way better than what the camera's kind of showing but i mean there's no runs in it it will come back here i mean there's no major runs in it, and it laid on beautifully because of that uh, uh, self-edging primer there. And 
course it's still wet but see it got in there beautifully and even around these rivets I mean just I mean it's just incredibly got around these rivets yeah, that rivet here sorry I mean it just killed it on the rivets and did a beautiful job camera does an alright job and that's a rod holder there uh, I didn't put it in guys so I don't like to put holes in these boats but uh, the boat was filled up with JB Weld on the other side which is going to be covered and never even be seen it's flattened down and um, I don't know looks good guys but uh looks about a hundred hundred and twenty five bucks with sandpaper and uh, time and use this little guy right here on the rivets just on the attached on the drill man I'm pretty happy with it, it turned out good but this is the uh, unfinished side right there see where I did the rivets and this is the finished side. Hope it holds up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.